All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating and actually providing a download for a project I did for a client. I'm not going to uh, release the code at this point, but you can kind of see an example of how some things can work. And this builds on the Google Maps uh, distance uh, API that I have on my site. A bunch of you have downloaded. Um, I think it's the most popular blog entry on my site. And um, so what they wanted is they wanted an actual matrix. So not just a series of addresses with the with a source origin address, but actually if they have 10 addresses, all 10 addresses will serve as an origin address and then the distance calculated from that address to every other address. And it'll form a grid or a matrix where you have every address across the top. It's dynamic, so if you have 10, it'll do 10 columns. If you have 20, it'll do 20 columns. And then down the left-hand side in the rows will be every the addresses again and the combination where they intersect you'll get the distance and the duration for each of those combinations and then I also apply conditional formatting on the fly um, in a very flexible fashion uh, using a gradient where you have a low color for whatever the lowest amount is and a high color for whatever the furthest distance or, or longest duration travel time is and they can actually change those colors on the fly um, and then finally I provide a way for them to open up any of the columns, any of the addresses, address columns, and that will become a source address, and then they can select any number of destination addresses, and it will use the Google um, static map API to generate an image and include that on the form and also let them open it up in another window. So I'm going to demo all of that. Um, I can't release the code because it was just done for a client project, but if you contact me, um, then, uh, you know, we, we can talk about how I can help you kind of get that going for you. So, uh, once again, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a list of addresses. I've picked some destinations in Southern California like Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farms, the Santa Monica Pier, places like that. And we'll have those um, on the sheet you download as well. You, of course, have to add your API. Uh, I'll show you where you do that um, in the second tab called System. I have the APIs obscured. I just made them a white font against a white background so you can't see them. You'll have to get your own. Uh, I'll have a link to where you pick those up. And you need to tie them to a billing account. That's a mistake people make. Down below, you can see where I have... Um, the colors you can use for your conditional formatting. I have the distance color, the low color, mid color, and the high color, and the travel time colors the same, but you can change those, and that's what's going to show up on your final product, and I'll show you how that looks. So let's run this thing and see how it works. You press the Generate Matrix button. It's going to create a sheet with the current date, and there you go. You see that all the items are populated, and you'll also notice that the locations where the address, the source address, and the destination address are the same, it just has an NA. We don't need distances there. Uh, but everything else is color-coded using the conditional formatting. Now let's run it again, and you're going to see that it creates, it takes the old sheet, uh, gives it a numeric identifier, and creates a brand new sheet, same exact name. So it'll just iterate numbers if you run it four or five different times with new addresses it's just going to give you a new sheet with an iterative number 001, 002, and so on. Now if I select one of the column headings, double click on it, it brings up a form that shows the origin address and the rest of the subsequent addresses and lets me select any combination of those addresses to run a map image. So when I click a new source address a column, it shows up as the origin address, and the rest of the addresses are listed as destinations. I select which ones I want to include in the map. I generate the map, and it appears on the form. I can also open the map separately in your default viewer. This is just one example of how you can use um, Excel Automation VBA to connect with other systems like the Google Matrix API, Distance Matrix API, or the Google Static Map API, as well as any number of other APIs. Um, it's a really powerful way to automate your work. Uh, if you have any questions about how that works, 
please feel free to contact me at info at pulseinformatics.com. Thanks for watching.